popped it all in the face. A morning of hard work in the garden leads us to this. Good morning, it's Les. And Megs. From Hunting Out the Farmstead. We're out the front. And uh, we've got to get this backyard sorted and the front yard. So uh, we've got to clean up this backyard. Part of the backyard is the back veranda. We've got the kids out cleaning up on that. This is a mess that we have right now. All right, where are we at? Is this collar on? Where are we at? Home. Home. We're at home. We're at home, that's good news. Everyone's comedian. What's going on here? You what? Clean my shirt. That. Oh, you're doing all the dishes? Good news. It's very hard. It is very hard, yep. That's what mum does every day. Yep. That's our coffee cup. Alright. All this has to be cleaned up today. We're, gonna, we're a bit out of control here at the moment. So, this, how the backyard has to be done. There's some stuff that has to go into the plastics in the recycling bin and that is going to yeah. come around the corner at any time. I've got to get onto it now before the bin man comes. Tractor tube that needs to go somewhere. Yeah, more stuff that has to find a home. And we hope to get rid of some scrap metal today that um, we don't really have a purpose for. Mm. The building sites and some more plastic needs to go as well. So we'll be back soon, hang around, grab a coffee, grab some work boots. Um, he's already on hers. I'm on my second one. Will we get it done today? That's the question. A little bit of a confession though. We we are going to get some help here. We don't want to finish off week and you're going to go, what have you done? Yeah. So we've actually got a friend coming around and he's going to come around and help us um, just move some bits and pieces and do the bricks for me, which will be great. We'll get that front section cleaned up. If anyone else wants to come over tomorrow and help us get to that finish line, yep. feel free because we need it. Yeah. Um, but also, just a heads up, public service announcement, the big reveal won't actually be released on YouTube on day 30, which is Saturday. We're gonna use day 30 as a day to work and finish everything. Yep. And then I'm gonna do the big release on Sunday. Because there's actually a fair bit of um, footage and stuff that we have to use. You know, there's lots of different sections that you've probably seen bits and pieces of. It's gonna take me a long time. Yeah, you haven't actually seen the finished product of any of it yet. Um, we haven't filmed the very finish. We've always done a little bit extra, just so you don't go, oh yeah, I've seen it all before. Um, so yeah, hang around and uh, see how it all goes over the next few days. It's gonna be fun. Thank you. Oh, is it? This toy box is looking a little bit worse for wear, as you can see. This toolbox, this toy box, this toy box, can you just move out of the way please, Minnie? This toy box was made by my uncle for me when I was five years old. So it's over 40 years old. It's starting to look a little bit weathered now. I'll fix that leg up and we'll get another 40 years out of it. Here's hoping. Alright, so right now we're working on getting rid of all the scrap metal out of our yard. It seems so wasteful. 
but uh, we can't sell it and we can't seem to use it for too much at the moment. If you've got any ideas for next time, because we get this stuff all the time, let us know. Actually, nice long lengths. Probably four and a half, five metre lengths. It's a bit sad to see. Well, actually, these are 5.8. It's a bit sad to see them go. We got Mike here. Mike's helping clean up the other. He's got some all the metals going from the front. All the bricks are going to move. That might not get all done today because it's actually been a way bigger job than we planned. So it might blow out to a couple of days. Obviously, he's got deliveries and stuff. We're trying to shuffle it around that. Um, this pile of mulch hasn't got this pile of uh, what are we calling it? A pile of branches hasn't got it too much smaller. It's made a good dent. Still got a bit to go. I haven't done any of that today. That's that's a tomorrow job. Next is to sort of clean up around the front before we do our final mulch covering to make it look nice and neat. But she just snuck off inside because uh, she just whacked one of these the landmine. She just whacked a landmine with a whip snapper and copped it all in the face. So Rufus is probably not on our good books right now. And yeah, some of you have already noticed the trampoline moved. Yeah, we'll get rid of that temporary, temporary fencing. Chook pen over there. This is our mulch pole. You probably haven't seen that for a little while. But look at it, it's starting to get lots of goodies in it. Grass clippings. It's probably starting to dry out a bit, so I'll get the water onto that. That chook pen's going to go just there on the other side. Right next to the mulberry tree, they'll love that. And then obviously, these pots here have to move because this spot here is going to be for something pretty special and you're not going to see that in the unveiling but you'll see it next week so stick around and see what we're up to I see Chook's did an okay job down the back here we're going to have to dig the rest out which is a bit annoying I sort of stripped out some of it and it just seemed to take so long I'm a bit disappointed in them I thought they would have done better but that's alright we'll uh, We'll get something under that to stop it from spreading. Oh, Meg's is back. Oh, Meg's is all refreshed. Stop nice eating. and clean. Yeah, no poo. That's a firm no. From yeah. me? Yeah. That's where that's going. If you ever get to meet us, if you don't already, and you bring glitter in, I'm going to put it in the air vents of your car. <laughs> that is a warning. All right, and then every time you turn your aircon vents on, it's just going to spit a couple of bits of glitter out. Just to remember, you have been warned. A morning of hard work in the garden leads us to this. He's knackered. Still got a bit going on out here. Got to get this back veranda sorted out. You can see just here, still a bit going on. Of course, Rufus is in on the action, like he always is. <laughs> this bit we've just about got knocked off just a bit more cleaning to do over here uh, and of course special uh, dedication this one's just got washed for our friend Hayley this one's for you up the mighty blues more mulching having a great time babe uh, no not no? at all okay my great time ended after the first shovel went into this barrow <laughs> Now I'm a bit done. Lots of stuff out the back still to happen. Got 48 hours or so. I don't know what's happened the last two days. I've really just hit a wall. I am really struggling today to muster any type of energy or motivation. So yeah. we've got two days to get rid of this mulch. Actually, less than that because tomorrow we've got Green Life um, Soil, Co. Soil Co. Um, we've got a load coming in because before the reveal there's lots of small pots out there that have to be repotted uh, and that's part of the reason like I said there's some core things had to be done and they were that was part of the core things to have those done um, after this because their pots are too small and we just needed to get it done. So yeah. um, 
we're gonna sign off now. Yep. And we'll see you tomorrow. Yep. From, from our family to yours. God bless. God bless. Thank you.